Welcome to our rope dart tutorial on the empty knot knee shot. What's up Flomies? Welcome to the Sacred Flow Art Channel. Today we're on top of Volcan Ilalo, the inactive volcano that we've been living on since we've been in Ecuador. For two flow arts tutorials on various different props every single week in 4K Ultra HD, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. It'll be happening every Thursday and Saturday morning. We're all gearing up to go. We'll be heading out to the Galapagos Islands soon and then coming back and heading into Peru. Be sure to follow along with us on our journey driving around the entire planet on the Unite the World First Hand Global Movement. Click on the Full Circle Phenomenal YouTube channel link next to my name in the video description. I figured since I got the first knee shot tutorial up high on a mountain with a beautiful view, I might as well level us up with another one. This knee shot isn't much more complicated, though there are going to be some extra steps, so I'll break it apart for you, making it easy to absorb all the extra muscle memory and you'll have it in no time. Let's get started. I learned this trick from Sam Toby of Flow Mayhem, though I included some things in this tutorial that wasn't included in hers. Nonetheless, thank you to her and her teacher, Eve Harper Close. Be sure to get your warm up in. We have one here right on the Sacred Flow Art YouTube channel. Click the link up in the cards or in the video description. Firstly, you'll need to know the regular knee shot as a prerequisite. But in this instance, we're going to be shortening the tether to about two feet long, more or less, depending on the size of your knee or your leg. As you're going to want to know what it feels like to have a quick reaction time when the dart tether wraps quickly around your leg and you shoot it right out in front of you. There's not as much response time when you don't have that long of a tether. So get used to this a few times on your dominant side. You may mimic or mirror me here. Once you've got that down, spin the rope dart on the opposite side of the body and then bring the leg to the opposite side and wrap it from the outside under and bring it back across to the right side of your body. If your balance is good, bring up the knee for a little bit more extra tether slack length. Once you've got that, bring it underneath the leg again and wrap it around the front of your thigh just going off the corner of your knee adjust the position on your knee with the opposite hand just to make sure that you're getting familiar with that proper muscle memory rock the excess tether back and forth and just toss it out in front of you and release here's the hand grip that I use so as you can see you can easily release a little bit more tether until it gets almost to the ground swing it around a few times until you're ready Bring it to the left side of your leg and wrap it underneath your thigh back to the left side of your leg. Adjust it with your hand to be right on the corner of your knee. Get in touch with that position, that muscle memory. It'll get easier and easier to hit. And then rock it forwards and back, forwards and back, and toss it forwards out in front of you, releasing. After you have practiced and mastered these steps, you'll be able to more and more seamlessly put them all together into the empty knot knee shot. Let me show you here in a little bit more of a slowed down example. Here's half time. You'll notice how quickly it goes. Here's a super slow-mo version. Dart is across my body, leg comes across my body. I wrap it from the outside of the leg to under and then bring both my gripped hand and the leg back to the original side. You can keep your leg down or lift the knee for some extra tether. Get balanced, get focused, take a breath in, and then I suggest on the exhale, bring it up and slowly to the inside of the leg, wrap it around the leg from underneath, over right in front of the hand, right on top of the knee, and as it goes over the knee and comes back up, kick the leg out and release the dart. I suggest watch this over again and visualize yourself doing it. Now here's a version from the top. Notice my grip releasing as much tether as possible. I wait for it, I maintain my focus. Notice the planes and how I bend them just slightly to bring it to the left. I pull my knee slightly to the right. So it comes straight up over my knee again. I wait for it to start coming back up. That means the trajectory is coming forwards and then I release it and kick forwards. 
and for those going for a full flow mastery, switching sides. Now you might be afraid of doing this, but it's actually not as hard as you might think. I was surprised to find that on my non-dominant hand, it was easier to do this trick than with my usual. So as we do, shorten the tether, do some short knee shots, then get into position, lift the knee, and let's go for it. Here's it in regular time, and here's it in half time. Get your rope dart as well as choose from over 200 different props at sacredflowart.com forward slash shop. And be sure to check out all of our rope dart tricks by clicking this video link. Don't forget to subscribe and see what else we've been up to lately here on the Sacred Flow Art YouTube channel. Video was created by Full Circle Phenomenal, link next to our name in the video description. Thanks for watching.